IMT conference in Vancouver. That you're qualitative. Yeah, well, I haven't seen you in ages. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, what have you been up to? Uh, well, uh, I've been around. Yeah. I've been doing quantitative research. Wow. You need to catch up. Yeah. You like to have a seat. Sure. Well, you know, after graduation, oh, I've been doing qualitative research. I, I got married. I had three children. Wow. Who did you get married to? Sociology, anthropology, or humanity? They were all boring guys. I met a gentleman named Perceived View, and he is so empathetic and understanding. Perceived View sounds familiar. Hmm, interesting. I got married too. Did you? Yeah. Who too? Well, you know, remember I used to go out with uh, psychology, but she dropped me off. And she always thought that I'm too factual. Oh. And she thought that she's too bored and she cannot tolerate my continuous testing and experimenting. She also said that I live in a box with my peas and my chi-square. <laughs> but you know what? Luckily, I met another amazing woman. Her name is Received View. Maybe you've met her in one of the classes. Oh, Received? Sure, I remember her. Did I tell you my children's names? No. Do you have children? Yes, three. What's their names? Uh, phenomenology, oh. grounded theory, Interesting. and ethnography. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad you said that because I also have triplets. Wow. And the names of my children are experimental, non-experimental, and quasi-experimental. Wow. You've been busy. Yeah, very busy. <laughs> family now, and uh, just let me tell you that although I love numbers, and I love rates, and I love percentages, but all for a good reason, because I want to reach to the fact. I want to get to the fact. I, 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 I just don't get how you can even begin to think about quantifying a person's feelings or perceptions or experiences. You know what? Easy. I just operationalize these concepts and make them variables that can be measured. Oh, I, I, I can't. I, how do you reduce people to numbers? I have to disagree with you. I teach in the qualitative domain where, you know, it's the individual's experiences and perceptions and beliefs that's important. Uh, you know what? My main concern is to put these variables and link them in a hypothesis so that I can study the effect of one variable on another. And then I can cal calculate the statistical significance, which would be less than 0.05. And I'll be happy about it. And I can conclude uh, uh, with a positive or a negative relationship and eventually generalize it. Well, generalizability is overrated. Mm -hmm. In qualitative research, we call it transferability. Oh. Sounds nice, but for me, although you said that I uh, uh, reduce people to numbers, but in order for me to be able to generalize, I have a huge sample. Whereas your sample is teeny me. <laughs> <laughs> but sample size is overrated. Don't you know that it's not the size of the sample, but the, the richness of the data? But how can you generalize? Generalizability is overrated. I've already said that. You know what? Uh, if I follow the, my research process, uh, then I'll develop rigor. Then I can use my findings on different populations, whereas you are limited. <sighs> my view of the world is more humble. I, I search for meaning in people's experiences, and really, as a researcher, I'm the tool of data collection. Mm, well, but I 
can see you as a tool, but what is the reliability and validity of I, this tool? I always check back with my participants. I might stay in the field longer. There's lots of ways to ensure trustworthiness. Sounds like hocus pocus here. <laughs> well, as, aren't you concerned that a close interaction with your participants could skew your results? Have you heard of bias? We have ways to reduce that in qualitative research as well. I know you're really caught up on predictability. Predictability is huge because how can you do a research without concluding with something that's going to have had the bigger population? Well, don't you know though that multiple realities can exist? There's not only one truth. I'm not trying to be negative here, but I am positivistic. I believe there is one reality that exists out there and waiting to be discovered by researchers like me. What about Richard Dahl? Yeah. Richard Dahl, I remember him very well. He said there is a link between smoking and lung cancer, yet people are still smoking. Right, so many other questions beg to be asked. Why do people smoke? What are the barriers of facilitators to quitting? I think then, to determine whether we can use quantitative or qualitative, we have to check with the research, research question. question. Thank you very much. <laughs>